गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर फिफ्टीन ऑफ फेब्रुवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर लेट स्टार्ट विद अवर से फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कावाल टाइगर रिजर्व विच वॉज सीन इन द न्यूज रिसेंटली इज लोकेटेड इन विच इंडियन स्टेट सो दिस टाइगर रिजर्व लाइज इन द स्टेट ऑफ तेलंगाना and why it came into news because six forest authorities were suspended for negligence in curbing the teak smuggling in this tiger reserve and it is located in the north eastern part of telangana basically it was declared as a tiger reserve in the year 2012 and it lies at the southern tip of the central indian tiger landscape with diverse habitat and it include the dense forest and water bodies as well and this reserve is vital for its rich flora including the extensive teak and bamboo hosting 673 plant species okay so kawal tiger reserve lies in the state of telangana now here our keyword is tiger reserve and in the next slide we will see some of the important tiger reserves that came into news in the month of january 2024 First is endangered forest owlet recently sighted at which tiger reserve? So forest owlet was seen in the Nilghat Tiger Reserve, and it lies in Maharashtra. Don't forget that the IUCN status of forest owlet is endangered. Which state is set to launch the world's first melanistic tiger safari? Here answer is Odisha. Odisha is set to launch the world's very first melanistic tiger safari. Parambikulam Tiger Reserve which was seen in the news recently is located in which Indian state it lies in the state of Kerala Anamalai Tiger Reserve that was recently seen in the news is located in which Indian state this is the part of Tamil Nadu Recently which tiger reserve has got the title of India's first dark sky park India's very first dark sky park is the Penge Tiger Reserve that lies in Madhya Pradesh and some of the parts of this tiger reserve also lies in maharashtra boundary the udanti sita nadi tiger reserve that was recently seen in the news is located in which indian state so this tiger reserve lies in chatisgarh and last is biligiri ranga swami temple tiger reserve recently in news is located in which indian state this tiger reserve lies in karnataka fine so the location of all these uh, tiger reserve is very very important please remember them next is दक्षिण भारत सांस्कृतिक केंद्र रिसेंटली सीन इन द न्यूज वॉज एस्टेब्लिश्ड इन विच सिटी ऑफ इंडिया सो इट विल बी इनोग्रेटेड इन हैदराबाद एंड इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ संगीत नाटक अकेडमी विच इज इंडियाज नेशनल अकेडमी फॉर म्यूजिक डांस एंड ड्रामा राइट इट वॉज स्टैब्लिश्ड इन द ईयर नाइनटीन फिफ्टी थ्री बेसिक एम इज टू प्रिजर्व एंड प्रमोट इंडियाज डाइवर्स कल्चरल हेरिटेज एंड द अकेडमी ऑपरेट्स ऑटोनोमसली अंडर the ministry of culture with a chairman appointed by the president for a 5 year term and fully it is funded by the government it coordinates regional academies it promotes research and encourages collaboration for the enrichment of indian culture fine so recently this center has been established in hyderabad okay now here our keyword is city and in the next slide we will see some of the important cities that were in news recently which city announced the free bus travel for transgender community here answer is delhi recently delhi has announced that all the transgender community or all the transgender people of delhi would get the free bus travel now onwards recently which city of up received the center's water warrior award this award has been presented to noida city of up Which one of the following city is venue of the India's first beach side startup festival named as Emerge 2024? This is India's very first beach side startup festival, and uh, the venue for this festival was Mangalore. Okay. Next is Salar Jung Museum, which was seen in the news, is located in which Indian city? This museum lies in Hyderabad. All India Institute of Speech and Hearing, recently seen in the news, is inaugurated at which city of UP? So this institute lies in Kanpur city recently it has been inaugurated okay next is 
Recently, the UPI payment system has been launched in which two countries? Here, answer is Sri Lanka and Mauritius. A option. Recently, our Prime Minister Narendra Modi, along with Sri Lankan President Renil Vikramasinghe and Mauritius Prime Minister Pravind Jugnath, inaugurated the UPI services in Sri Lanka and in Mauritius, and the rupee credit card services in Mauritius via the video conferencing. Okay. So, Mr. Jugnath announced the co-branded rupee card as a Mauritius domestic card. And this initiative aims to enhance the economic ties and connectivity between the two countries. Also, it would provide convenience to their citizens. And the Sri Lankan president congratulated our Prime Minister Modi on the consecration of Sri Ram Mandir. And he highlighted the long-standing economic relations between the two countries. Right. So recently, UPI payment system has been launched in which two countries? Answer is Sri Lanka and Mauritius. Okay. Now here our keyword is country and in the next slide we will see some of the important international current affairs. First is recently which countries have been declared as the guest of honor at the 2024 World Government Summit in Dubai. First of all you have to remember that the venue for World Government Summit was Dubai this year and which two countries were declared as the guest of honor. Here answer is India, Qatar and Turkey. Okay, so these three countries were named as the guest of honor at the 2024 World Government Summit that took place on 12th to 14th of February. Fine. What was the theme for this summit? The theme was shaping the future governments. This was the theme. Okay, so more than 25 global government and state heads participated in the summit. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Uh, also addressed the summit on 14th of February where he emphasized the global significance. Okay, so which countries were the guests of honor at this important summit? Answer is India, Qatar and Turkey. FIFA World Cup 2026 will be hosted by which one of the following countries? So FIFA World Cup 2026 would be hosted by three countries in total, Canada, US and Mexico. Recently, which five countries officially joined the BRICS group? Which five countries have entered the BRICS now? So these are Saudi Arabia, then second is Egypt, third is UAE, fourth is Iran, and the fifth country is Ethiopia. Okay. Uh, which countries were already there in the BRICS? Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Right. Which three countries recently announced their withdrawal from the economic community of the West African state? Recently, three countries are there who have announced their withdrawal from this block. And which are these three countries? First is Burkina Faso, second is Mali, and the third country is Niger. Fine. RLC recently seen in the news stands at the boundary between which two countries? RLC uh, stands at the boundary between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. Fine. Next day, government recently launched a mass drug administration campaign for which disease? So, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has launched the serve dawa seven or you can say mass drug administration campaign the basic aim is to eliminate the lymphatic filariasis in 10 high burden states by the end of 2027 which is actually three years ahead of the global target because the global target is 2030 right so health workers will conduct door-to-door -door mass drug administration in bihar chhattisgarh jharkhand maharashtra Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal, Karnataka, Odisha, Madhya Pradesh and in Andhra Pradesh. So intensive monitoring at the block level and daily analysis of coverage and monitoring reports will be emphasized. Fine. So government recently launched a mass drug administration campaign for lymphatic filariasis disease. Okay. Now let's see some of the important campaigns that came into news. First is Safe Wetlands campaign recently seen in the news is launched by which ministry? This is the campaign of Ministry of Environment, Forest and the Climate Change where they are trying to save our wetlands and they are trying to conserve them. Don't forget that uh, this campaign was launched on the occasion of World Wetlands Day. You have to tell me when do we observe the World Wetlands Day. Which Indian state recently inaugurated the Dhami Against the Drugs campaign? So this is the initiative of Uttarakhand state government where they are trying 
टू टैकल विथ ड्रग रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम हमारा संविधान हमारा सम्मान कैंपेन रिसेंटली सीन इन द न्यूज इज एसोसिएटेड विथ विच मिनिस्ट्री दिस कैंपेन इज एसोसिएटेड विथ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ लॉ एंड जस्टिस रिसेंटली विच स्टेट लॉन्च द माई स्कूल माई प्राइड कैंपेन फॉर एजुकेशनल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन दिस इज हिमाचल प्रदेश विच यूनियन मिनिस्ट्री लॉन्च वुमेन फॉर वॉटर एंड वॉटर फॉर वुमेन कैंपेन मेनी पीपल थिंक दैट इट इज एसोसिएटेड विथ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ वुमेन एंड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट और मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ जल शक्ति बट द करेक्ट आंसर इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर्स द मिनिस्टर ऑफ विच इज हरदीप सिंह पुरी नेक्स्ट इज रिसेंटली हु हैज बीन ऑनर्ड विद अ प्लेक एट द जुम फ्रॉच रिनाउंड एज द टॉप ऑफ यूरोप सो दिस इज इंडिया इज ओलंपिक एंड वर्ल्ड चैंपियन जैवलिन थ्रोवर नीरज Chopra he has received a commemorative plaque at Switzerland's famous ice palace at Jungfrauch the which is the top of Europe so because of his remarkable achievements Neeraj Chopra unveiled the plaque and donated one of his javelins to the tourist attraction and he joins other sport stars like Roger Federer and Rory McIlroy on the wall of fame at Jungfrauch celebrating their spirit of accomplishment and dedication according to Switzerland tourism fine so recently Neeraj Chopra has been honored with a plaque at the Jung Froch renowned as the top of Europe let's see some of the important awards and honors related question which institute has been honored with the Nelson Mandela award 2024 by the world health organization this is national institute of mental health and neuro sciences that is nimhans Recently which musician has been honored with the Lakshmi Narayan International Award this is Pyare Lal Sharma okay Recently which album won the best global music album award at the Grammy Awards 2024 the album that got the best global music album award is this moment okay Recently who received the 2024 best green bond corporate award at the Asset Triple A Awards for Sustainable Finance answer is R E C Limited, who has been awarded the prestigious Maha Gaurav Award 2024. This award has been presented to Nikhil Mukund Wag. Fine. Next is where was a new defence system precision approach radar inaugurated? So Navy Chief Admiral Mr R Hari Kumar inaugurated this precision approach radar at. Ines Utkrosh in Andaman and Nicobar Islands during his 3 day visit to bolster the strategic tri service command and it was manufactured by a chennai company basically it enhances the aircraft landing safety in low visibility condition such as heavy rain and fog and it offers precise horizontal and vertical guidance and this system strengthens the andaman and nicobar commands defense capabilities fine so a new defense system that is par precision approach radar has been inaugurated in andaman and nicobar island let's see some of the recent inaugurations where was the center for excellence in nutritional supplements testing for sports person inaugurated so it was inaugurated in gandhinagar in the state of gujarat okay Recently which country has inaugurated its newest and the fifth Antarctic research station named as the Kinling facility it belonged to the country China Prime Minister of India inaugurated the India Energy Week 2024 in which Indian state so he has inaugurated this week in the state of Goa Where was the India's first digital national museum of epigraphy inaugurated it was inaugurated in Hyderabad and last is recently where was the National Arogya Fair inaugurated it was inaugurated in new delhi okay recently which country won the 2024 icc under 19 world cup here answer is australia australia won the 2024 icc under 19 world cup by defeating india by 79 runs in the final match that took place on 11th of february in south africa so this is australia's fourth ICC under 19 World Cup victory and the third consecutive time they defeat India in the finals and the 2024 under 19 cricket World Cup ran from 19th of January up to 11th of February and used a limited overs format that is 50 overs format okay so Australia won the 2024 ICC 
under 19 World Cup. You can also be asked it who was the runner up in this World Cup finals. Here answer is India. Fine. Now let's see some of the important winners that came into news. Who won the 87 kgs Greco-Roman title at the National Wrestling Championships 2024? The winner of 87 kgs Greco-Roman title is Sunil Kumar. Recently, which state won the Nagesh Trophy in the Men's National T20 Cricket for the Blind? This trophy was given to Karnataka state. Can you tell me Karnataka has won this trophy by defeating which state? Please write your answer in the comment section. Which player won the title of Women's Singles India Open 2024? The winner of Women's Singles India Open 2024 is Tai Zhu Ying. Okay. And if you talk about the men's singles title, the winner was Shi Yu Ki. Shri Shendu Mukhya Padhyay, who recently won the 2023 Kuvempu Rashtri Puraskar, is a prolific writer of which language? Recently, he won the 2023 Kuvempu Rashtri Puraskar and he is a prophetic writer in Bengali language. Which university has won the Maulana Abul Kalam Azad Trophy 2023? This trophy was presented to Guru Nanak Dev University. Fine. Next is, where were the Indian Navy's annual refit conference 24, ARC 24 and annual infrastructure conference 24 conducted? So Indian Navy's annual refit conference 24 and AIC 24 were held on 8th to 9th of February in Mumbai. So it is shared by Vice Admiral Kiran Deshmukh. Discussions included, for example, refit plans for naval ships, infrastructure augmentation, material cooperation with foreign countries and the digital solutions for maintenance. So different challenges were also deliberated in platform maintenance and in strategic level changes for efficient refit processes. Fine. So here correct answer is Mumbai. Indian Navy is ARC24 and AIC24 was conducted in Mumbai city. Let's see some of the important summits and conferences. Where is the 6th edition of World Government Summit being held? It took place in Dubai. Where was the Digital India Future Lab Summit 2024 held? It took place in IIIT Delhi. It was hosted by IIIT Delhi. Where was the 19th Non-Aligned Movement Summit held? Here answer is Kampala, Uganda. Which it is the host of 2024 BRICS Summit? Here answer is Kazan. Kazan lies in the country, Russia. Which it is the host of World Climate Action Summit 2023? Answer is Dubai. Okay. Next is Rola Padu Wildlife Sanctuary, recently seen in the news, is located in which Indian state? So, this wildlife sanctuary lies in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Actually, Great Indian Bustard faces local extinction in Andhra Pradesh, Rola Padu Wildlife Sanctuary, due to no sightings for years. And this wildlife sanctuary was established in the year 1988 and it is the state's sole GIB sanctuary, the aim of which is to protect the endangered bird and it is situated amid Nalla Malai and Yara Malai hill ranges. The sanctuary basically harbors diverse flora including 32 grass species and prominent trees like Cassia fistula and Butea etc. The absence of GIB sightings underscores the urgent need for conservation efforts in this region, right? So that's why uh, this wildlife sanctuary came into news. It lies in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Here our keyword is wildlife sanctuary. Let's see some of the important wildlife sanctuaries that came into news. The first one is Suna Beda Wildlife Sanctuary, recently seen in the news, is located in which Indian state? Suna Beda Wildlife Sanctuary lies in the state of Odisha. Sepahi Jala Wildlife Sanctuary, recently seen in the news, is located in which Indian state? It lies in Tripura. Thanthai Periyar Wildlife Sanctuary, recently seen in the news, is located in which Indian state? It lies in Tamil Nadu. Dalma Wildlife Sanctuary, recently seen in the news, is located in which Indian state? It lies in Jharkhand. The Brahmagiri Wildlife Sanctuary, which was recently in the news, is located in which Indian state? It is in Karnataka. Coming to the last question. When is the World Yunani Day observed every year? So World Yunani Day is celebrated annually on 11th of February and this day commemorates the birth anniversary of Hakim Ajmal Khan who was a social reformer and Yunani scholar. So he is known for bringing Yunani medicine to India 
and he was the founder of Jamia Millia Islamia in New Delhi. And this year, what is the theme for World Yunani Day? The theme is Yunani medicine for one earth, one health. Okay. So two things are important. When do we observe the World Yunani Day? Answer is 11th of February. And what was the theme for this year? So answer is Yunani medicine for one earth, one health. Let's revise some of the important days and themes. The first is, what is the theme of International Day of Women and Girls in Science 2024? So this year, the theme is Women and Girls in Science Leadership, which is a new era for sustainability. Okay, so this was the whole theme. And this theme emphasizes the importance of women's leadership in science for achieving the global sustainability goals and this this day is celebrated on 11th of february every year the royal academy of science international trust organizes the 2024 international day of women and girls in science assembly fine what is the theme of new delhi world book fair 2024 the theme for this book fair was multilingual india a living tradition this was the theme okay what is the theme of National Science Day 2024? We observe the National Science Day on 28th of February every year. And this year the theme is Indigenous Technologies for Vixit Bharat. Okay. What is the theme of International Day of Zero Tolerance for Female FGM 2024? We observe this day on 6th of February annually. And uh, this year the theme is Her Voice, Her Future. Okay. And last is what is the theme of World Cancer Day 2024? We observe the World Cancer Day on 4th of February every year. And this year the theme is Close the Care Cap. Fine. So with this we have covered all the important questions for today. And now let's move to our quiz part. Here on the screen you can see 5 questions which have been taken from the past 2-3 days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Minus Hatsana signing off.